<laughs> Get on with it. Right, I will. And I'll tell you what, where else can we start? But with boxing and Carl Froch has retained his WBC super middleweight crown with a majority points victory over Glenn Johnson. Well, it was a tough battle with Froch's challenger throwing some big punches. But the Cobra from Nottingham rarely looked troubled and hit back with stinging combinations of his own. Two of the three judges gave the fight clearly to Froch. A third saw it as a draw. The win sees Carl go through to the Super 6 final. Now we can go live to Carl's home now. Carl, you've done a lot of travelling since that uh, big fight, but you've got the belt still. That's what matters. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good, thank you. I only just got home, actually. You've hijacked me. Um, literally, as I've walked through the door, I've not had a chance to unpack yet. It was a fight that had everything, wasn't it? Tactics, strength, endurance. Uh, Johnson caught you with some big punches, but you took them and each time came back with those combinations of your own. Did you get rattled at all? No, not at all. He hit me with a couple of good shots. He's a big puncher, Johnson, and he's a very strong, tough man coming forward, letting his big shots go. And a lot of the shots came around my left ear and um, he's actually perf perforated my left eardrum, which isn't good news. I'm going to shoot off to the hospital in a minute and um, walk to the doctors, see what the verdict is. But I've had perforations before. But other than that, every time I got hit, I made sure that I responded back with a, a fast, strong combination to make sure the judges, um, although the Japanese judge didn't see it how everybody else saw it, um, made, you know, you made, to make sure I won the fight. Most people, I think, thought you won it clearly, and certainly I've been reading through the press reaction today, and that's the general feeling, so it was an unusual one that, uh, to give you the draw. Uh, did you always expect the fight to go the full 12 rounds? I did, yes, exactly. I trained for the 12 rounds. Um, Glenkov Johnson's had over 60 fights. He's only ever been stopped once early on in his career against the great Bernard Hopkins. Um, so I knew he's very, very tough and strong, and he operates at a weight division above me, usually light heavyweight. So he's a very tough, strong, durable man and I didn't go in there with any intentions of knocking him out or stopping him early. Just had to get the job done and secure my place in the final of this fantastic tournament. We just caught a shot there so while we're looking at your was... very glamorous girlfriend. She, she never looks stressed at all, Carl, during these fights. She uh, pretty relaxed about all this. Yeah, she's got big confidence in my ability. She watches me train, um, she sees me spar and obviously she's been involved in some big world title fights and she, she knows how good I am. Without, I'm not giving myself a big head. She's, she's got every confidence in me, but she does feel the nerves, I can assure you, but she's, she's calmed herself down a lot. She's getting used to it. OK, Carl, listen, it's great to talk to you. Good luck in the final with Andre Ward uh, and well done on, uh, on a great victory.